Since the likes of Sweet Home and Alone in the Dark, survival horror has been one of the most consistently exciting and popular genres of them all. Whether it be the corridor-crawling abominations of Resident Evil, the psychological mind of Silent Hill, or the pants-sweating jump scares of pretty much every survival horror ever, there's something quintessentially enjoyable about being hunted down by evil entities that are hungry for your soul. Or something like that, anyway. So of course, with so many fantastic entries populating the genre, we have had to have a survival showdown all of our own to pick the very best 15 that have come out on top. Pick up your batteries, count your bullets, and conserve your health packs, as we're going in. I am the flesh and blood Ash from What Culture, and these are the 15 best survival horror video games of all time. 15. Alien Isolation one of the finest examples of white-hot terror available on modern consoles, Alien Isolation finally did justice to H.R. Geiger's legendary xenomorph design. The genius in the title comes from searching the desolate hallways of the abandoned Sevastopol ship whilst being continually hunted by a murderous xeno. Its AI means that no two encounters are the same, giving you a motion tracker complete with signature movie beep, a selection of places to hide, and not much else. The ship is also staffed by working Joes, prototype versions of the humanoid AI that the likes of Ash from the original film would be based on. As such, Alien Isolation is an intricate balancing act of exploration, item hoarding, and the occasional fight to boot. The outright, oh god, oh crap, oh Jesus, reaction whenever the alien itself pops up is just the cherry on top of the cake. Perfect. 14. Outlast of all the underused elements of silver screen horror that barely make an appearance in-game, Outlast took the notion of found footage, or rather night vision handheld camera work, and built a whole goddamn game around it. Investigating a dilapidated asylum after an ominous message draws you in, one miles upshore seemingly forgot to pack the batteries, as you'll soon be exploring each and every nook and cranny through the lens of a forever dying camcorder. Outlast's blend of Blair Witch-style pupil illumination and destitute human misery combines to form one of the most engrossing horror titles on the market, one that is surprisingly well bolstered by its fantastically expansive DLC, The Whistleblower. 13. System Shock 2 from the depths of the ocean to the far reaches of space, System Shock was one of auteur Ken Levine's biggest surprises back in 1999. Truly ahead of its time, especially given the conceptual similarities to how the Bioshock series played out, System Shock 2 is an isolating tale of survival aboard a spaceship that actually outdoes Alien at its own game. Combining slow, methodical exploration with character building, stat boosts, and the almighty, chillingly evil showdown AI that appears to be watching your every move, here's hoping System Shock 3 can come somewhere close to continuing such a high bar of quality. 12. Siren Blood Curse Back to the PS3 for this incredibly underrated gem, Siren Blood Curse tells the tale of a haunted Japanese village dogged by the Shibito, which is a zombie-like curse that affects the local folk. As a stealth game, you're primarily clinging to the shadows and carefully picking your battles, considerations that are formed through the unique sight-jacking ability. Basically, you're able to tune in to an enemy's vision, meaning you can take the time to scour ahead through their eyes instead of your own. The only downside is that at one point or another, you will inevitably attempt to tap into an enemy sightline, only to realize the static character they're lumbering towards is you. 11. Until Dawn Tapping into the teen horror subgenre, which is one not seen in video games since high school slashing PS2 gem Obscure, chances are your first playthrough will be completely different to anybody else's. It's built for replayability as you attempt to make every character survive the slasher escort deal, and with the narrative also being framed as a set of flashbacks, there are a number of ways you can customize various elements depending on how you describe that they took place. It's an incredibly innovative take on the genre, one more cinematic than most, and that perfectly encapsulates the stereotype fueled fun of teen horror. 10. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Capcom's reinvention of what Resident Evil is feels like a glorious return to the design ethos of the first two installments. Scavenging for items, carefully considering how to tackle enemies, and conserving ammunition is paramount to survival. The entire find your presumed dead wife setup being perfectly paced to slowly turn the tables on your oppressors. 
Sadly, without going into spoilers, Resident Evil 7's final third does veer heavily into the sort of blob monster boss battles we've grown plenty tired of across Resident Evil 5 and 6. But when taken as a whole, there is a level of confidence and forward planning, and you know, making a game about evil in a residential area, that plants a firm foot in the next generation for the franchise overall. Here's to Resident Evil being back on top. Because man, that feels good to say. 9. Soma possibly one of the most conceptually brilliant horror setups in gaming, developers Frictional Games have always had a knack for presenting reactionary responses and representations of how our minds deal with negative phenomena in interesting ways. In Soma's case, this means the game doesn't have a whole lot of enemies, with the real horror coming from dealing with various other characters' trapped mental states. To say more would give away precisely what's going on, and being Soma remains one of the most underrated horrors of them all, I implore you to do so yourself. Let's just say there are a few games as intelligently written as this, and by the time the credits roll, the game's way of making you question your own perception on reality is what will stick with you most. 8. Amnesia The Dark Descent And no survival horror list would be complete without Amnesia. Thanks to an innovative sanity meter implemented in the game, staying in the shadows or avoiding terrifying creatures that ceaselessly hunt you and dwelling on your current predicament will only see it drain. Doing so incurs various things such as the screen beginning to warp, random cuts to black to make progress harder, or all manner of piercing sound effects will kick in to throw you off balance. The only recourse is to run headlong into what's hunting you, forcing you to cleverly face your fears. Seeing monsters also affects sanity though, because of course, meaning you need to carefully pilot your heroes through the various levels, never stopping to catch your breath for a second. Amnesia has long remained a powerhouse title for a reason, and with one look at its innovative gameplay, it is not hard to see why. 7. Silent Hill There are two strands of horror in video games, the big, crazy, bloated monster flavor, and the cerebral, haunts your nightmares no matter what you do kind. Silent Hill helped proliferate the latter, creating one of the best setups for any horror property in history, a ghostly town inhabited and powered by your own worst fears. There's little that can beat exploring the fog cake streets of Silent Hill, an effect that came about thanks to the hardware capabilities of the time. As the PS1 couldn't render an entire town at once, said fog was used to cover this up, creating an iconic aspect of the series that was annoyingly removed when the franchise went HD and Konami cleaned up what they saw as a technical flaw. Your primitive movement options and general what the f is happening is a large part of the fun, as is one of the best thing through the window scares in video game history. 6. Dead Space Truly great EA games are few and far between, 007 everything or nothing anyone, but Dead Space took every last one of Resident Evil 4's influences and made one of the best follow-ups of all time. Built around the immortally effective context of being lost in space, the ferocious necromorphs are fantastically engaging enemies, ones that make the most of the limb-severing strategic dismemberment mechanic as you slowly take them down piece by piece. For creating an environment that feeds perfectly into an overall sense of unease and survivability, attempting to make it out of the derelict Ishimura ship is a Herculean effort indeed. 5. Resident Evil 4 one of the most poignant shifts in any franchise's history, Resident Evil 4's pivot into third-person, over-the-shoulder action marks the point you either hopped off the resi train and came back for its newest installment, or bathed in the glow of one of the most innovative survival horror games ever created. Opening with a brilliantly foreboding and full-on Wicker Man-esque descent into an otherwise unassuming Spanish village, the reveal of Los Granados was both a revolution in the franchise, running zombies, and a supremely threatening force. The way the game pushes you to absolute breaking point in various horde-based encounters only reinforces the one-man-against-all mentality that runs throughout. Capcom couldn't resist backing this one up with the occasional big crazy boss fight, it is resi after all, but all round this was a title so juicy it has influenced every third-person shooter and horror type thereafter. 4. Resident Evil 1996-2002 The granddaddy of them all made immeasurably better in this 2002 remake. Yes, the original Resi is legendary, and is more than responsible for continuing where Alone in the Dark left off. But Capcom's remake should stand as a tone for all developers on how to revitalize an original creation. Everything about Resi, from the dog through the window jump scare to the iconic zombie designs, the corny, memorable as hell dialogue, 
You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. And the all new Crimson Head enemies just feels momentous to play through. The isometric camera work allowed Capcom to frame all sorts of encounters in landmark fashion, too. Something Resi and various other horrors have lost over the years when handing all control over to the player. 3. PT it may be a tech demo, and a cancelled one at that, and it may be all over in under an hour. But I defy anyone who has played the mighty, potential-filled PT to deny its effectiveness at being outright terrifying. Set in a repeating L-shaped corridor where a number of subtle environmental clues, potential enemies, or breadcrumbs as to what's happening change, PT is on its way to becoming a bona fide gaming legend. Being Konami cancelled Silent Hills and moved it from the PlayStation Store in the end, this Hideo Kojima slash Guillermo del Toro collaboration can only live on in the hard drives of those who downloaded and kept it at the time. As such, its various unlockable details and bone-chilling scares can only be experienced if you really do your research, helping add to the mysticism of this once beautiful project that shall never be. 2. Resident Evil 2 1998 slash 2019 Despite the various advancements Resident Evil would make over the years, the over-the-shoulder camera, going first person, the quintessential ingredients of survival horror were perfected way back in its first sequel, and then again in its absolutely banging remake. Taking the characterful charm of the original and bolstering it with far better graphics, a perfected balance of terror and action, iconic monster designs, and exemplary environmental puzzles that require just the right amount of contemplation, there's a reason Resident Evil 2 has been a firm fan favorite ever since launch, and gotten one of the slickest re-releases yet. 1. Silent Hill 2 Silent Hill 2 bolstered the original's brilliant A Town Made of Nightmares setup with one of the most emotionally affecting and oft-debated narratives of all time. With a handful of endings and occasions where the game was almost playing you instead, the eerie feel of exploring the various dilapidated buildings and environments provided the perfect counterpoint to Resident Evil's more action-focused appeal. The way the game toys with our preconceived notions of video game heroes and agency within a game world is also total genius, an aspect the likes of sequel Shattered Memories would build itself around, leaving Silent Hill 2 as one of the most genuinely innovative and landmark horrors of them all.